So, many years before you were born, the whole fast food form of communication was telling someone, and then we developed writing, and that sped it up because we could have someone else bring you the message. And then there was the, uh, forgot what it's called, but you send the dashes, telegram, wait, uh, yeah, so. telegram, yeah. and then now you have the felt. Well, this naturally progressed to be able to send more information even faster. So we went from just having phone to having a system of phones all connected together. Well, the internet is a collection of data so massive it couldn't possibly can be compared to a phone. But just how you could see word of mouth evolving to a phone, the phone evolved into something much, much more. The internet is an amazing place where everyone can share information and pull information from it. Everyone has the same ability to go to it to receive information and put their own information up. There are places within the internet that are not physical places, but they exist to hold information. Uh, these can be added to or subtracted from. There's physical objects that make these non-physical places a reality. And companies such as Google, which I'm sure you've never heard of, uh, has created these physical places that are able to store this digital information. And by digital information, I really just mean information that you can access through a computer. Uh, a computer is the device we use to use the internet, just like a phone is the device we use to communicate over telephone lines. That's it. Any questions?